Hey guys, it's Mudge here. We're back for episode uh, three of the uh, oil field campaign with the Mill Me 8. Um, episode one was just a transit from uh, Crashadar to Makeup. Um, episode two was a bit more involved, um, kind of picking up uh, cargo and passengers from uh, the sub base and then kind of flying them uh, to a couple of oil derricks and dropping them off and then flying back to the sub base. Uh, kind of enjoyable mission uh, flying around, uh, challenging, uh, well, kind of challenging landings, you know, kind of landing off field, um, you, you know, and it's uh, it's nice having kind of something to do. Um, I mean, I'm enjoying flying this campaign. I know it's not combat orientated and it's just kind of flying around watching scenery go past, um, but it is, it's nice having kind of objectives and, and things to do kind of in a mission uh, rather than just kind of like... Um, you know, flying around doing nothing or, or blowing things up. But anyway, uh, this mission is called Icing. Um, I've read the blurb here. Um, basically, uh, yeah, um, the Mil Me 26, who's part of uh, the three helicopters uh, kind of assisting this um, operation, experienced some icing um, on, their, uh, on their last flight and one of the crew members wasn't well. Um, I'll leave that there, you can pause it and, and read through that if you want to. Um, it is quite interesting little read. Um, our objective today is to take off from uh, Makeup, um, radios 125 for there, uh, fly to the sub base for loading, uh, load cargo for R171 which is going to be our, um, our first drop. After delivering car cargo to the rig, fly to um, Caddy, <laughs> Caddy Zensk, uh, to take the shift on board and take them to Romeo uh, 211, which is over here. Then return to the sub base with the old shift. Uh, communication in the region is uh, Crash Star 126. Um, landings at sub base, uh, approximate mission time 65 minutes. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, so I'll hit start now. We'll see you in cockpit and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll get on the way. And hopefully we don't ice up. Okay, so here we are, we're uh, in cockpit. Um, we've got our flight route here. I've written down kind of what we need to do so I can program it all up into the um, into the navigational computer. Um, icing's interesting that they, uh, that the Milmi 26 uh, faced icing on their last mission. That's uh, potentially something to worry about there. Commander, all crew on board, half doors, doors, the hatches are closed. Cool. Roger. Let's get this up. thing starting up. What is the outside temperature at the moment? Still okay, so we're we're still in the, in the positives. We're about um, what's that? About uh, five degrees or something. Hmm. Okay, two four degrees. I guess that's uh, still not bad. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's get this thing started up, and then we'll uh, we'll get in the way. So first off, I guess we'll put the old circuit breakers on because you know they need to be on. I'll put on the old batteries. Batteries on. Voltage normal. Start up and system tape recorder on. Functioning. Board documents, wrenches, blanking covers on board. Okie dokie. Uh, I'll turn on fuel. Firefighting system to on. Operational. Rate switch on. Fuel level gauge operational. Shut off valves open. Engine stop valve handles in aft position. Engine stop valve handles in aft position. External load operational. Fuel pumps on. Okay, then we'll go ahead and start the APU. Got a good APU. Temperature increasing. The lights on in cockpit just to pressure uh, normal. Get some light going when we get some power in the aircraft. Select left engine, left engine start. Left engine start. Ah, no, rotor break off, that would help, wouldn't it? Ah, there's the Milmi 26. Such a cool helicopter. I think I said that on the last episode. <laughs> Revs increasing, temperature increasing. It's colder today, we'll shut the windows. In 
that collision beacon. Left engine at idle. Dust protection to on. Revs increasing, temperature increasing. We'll turn the, the heating on for now, just in case. Uh, pillar heating, stuff like that. Don't know if we get blade to heating on this. Eh, it'll be real. Right engine at idle. Throttle to right. Oh, and then we'll turn on systems. Voice alert system operational. Okay, uh, I think that's uh I think I need from the oh yeah. Would help if we turn on the rectifiers, wouldn't it? And the generators. Power the systems on. Equipment are on. Engine parameters normal. What we'll do is that we'll program in the first waypoint which is two four nine four four five from Starting taxi. Uh, not quite yet, buddy. Two four nine. If we set it now, then we can uh, not worry about it when we're taking off from the sub base. So two four nine, and it's forty forty five. Sell of a first leg. It's starting to get longer. Cool, 249445, so we'll can turn it on when we get to the sub base. Uh, we'll know where the sub base is. Just take off and uh, fly straight to that. Uh, okay, let's don't think we're doing any cargo winching at a moment, so we'll just set that to uh, 50 just to be safe. Uh, okay, everything else is looking cool and groovy around here, so we shall start a taxi. Brakes off. having a bit of a funny time with me pedals here, getting them uh, working as it should be.
probably not going to get her answer, so we'll just look left and right. Can't see any traffic in a pattern. That's all cool. So let's uh, take the runway, take off, and then uh, get the. Oh Jesus, that's not good, is it? Come on, get your trims right. <laughs> that would be so bad to bend the aircraft before we've been taken off the ground. It's funny, I'm generally worried about actually kind of damaging this aircraft. Really, really don't want to mess up the campaign. So we'll left turn and head up to the sub base, which is just over there. We can see the uh, red, red and white antenna sticking up, so that's a nice navigational point. Airborne need to turn into uh, Krasnodar. There we go. Krasnodar region 29103, hello. Departed from Kanskaya, operations in makeup area, altitude 02500. Contact in one hour, over. 29103, Krasnodar region. Roger, proceed as planned. Contact in one hour, over now. Okay, so our altitude limit is actually 500, that's good to know. I may have flown over that last time, I think I was flying around at like 700 or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I'll choose limited 500. Россия 721, направление 15, подходите к посадочной обеде. Посадочный курс, вы работаете вышкой 118.2. Performing landing circuit, wind 7-0. Set heading to 7-0. Greeting checklist before landing. Heading indicator 7-0. Heading indicator... 7-0. Performing vertical landing. Readiness for landing, ready. Readiness for landing, ready. Readiness for landing, ready. Then let's uh, let's get this bucket on the ground without destroying it. Wow, I have no idea what they were saying, but that sounded pretty cool. <laughs> hey, Dimitri, your wife came around and she gave me a blowjob and it was shit. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, mate, she always gives shit blowjob. <laughs>
There's a lot of data in that kneeboard, but... Uh, uh, see, there it is. Uh, how cool is that? Oh, look. Uh, you can even see the landing point there as well. Funky. Right, okay, so 249 for 45. Um, I'll dial in, we'll switch it on, and then uh, when we get the OK to go, we'll... Uh, We'll have, well, I guess we'll fly it from this seat and then we can uh, follow our, um... I don't say I'm not reminding you anymore. It's your bloody job to remind me, for Christ's sake. You're a bloody co-pilot, moron. <laughs> what, you're just going to sit there stum and go, Nope, I'm not helping you anymore because I don't like you. No. Douchebag. You can see all the smokiness on the um, on the aircraft there. Could do, give it a bloody wash. You know what I Completed. 3200. Doors closed. Roger. Taken off. Heading 249. Distance 45. Cool. And groovy. Uh, in fact, one thing I do need to do is set this to 249. Two, I'll do the same on this side just because. 249. Cool. Right. Here we go. Up we go. Oh boy, oh boy, she's heavy as hell. Come on. Up you go. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's nearly full power. Come on, you bust. Get airborne. I don't want to put too much power in, because then uh, if you start over-talking, you start losing power, if that kind of makes any sort of sense at all. But, um, oh boy, she's heavy as hell at the moment. Jesus. I'm glad we're not in a UH-1 with this. As soon as that thing gets heavy, I end up blowing up the gearbox. That's on, that's good. Come on course, that's good. Slight left course correction. Okay, dokey, we are underway. so boring today. Come on, <laughs> tell a joke. Yeah, why are you Back boring, Alex? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Don't keep company with grown-up boys. They'll teach you bad things. The only hope I have is Retka's soup. Andre, leave him, or you will lead us into the middle of nowhere and we won't get out. Commander, <laughs> I have everything under control. Okie dokie. Getting tetchy, are we? I got some speed on at the moment. Happy with that. Let's try the altitude on see if it works today. Drifter's looking good. We're marginally right. That's okay though. Too far off. Let's 
it's actually come down quite quick now. It's uh, marching all back to the right. Let the autopilot do the flying because that's what it's there for. Hummy hum, okey dokey. So looks like we're on the way. We've got uh, 24, 25 kilometers left, which is all good. What's the temperature outside? Is, uh, 10 degrees plus. It's all right. Is that the 26 over there? <laughs> How cool! Yeah, that's the 26. So I just need to keep an eye out so that we don't end up bloody ramming any other helicopters, that would really suck.
don't you? Inside 10 kilometres, we're only about half a kilometre off track to E left. That could be it. Three. It'll start slowing down now. I guess this is it. Yeah, that looks like our oil, Derek. Guess winds on zero seven zero today. So Tower in sight. Performing landing circuit. Wind 7-0. Set heading to 7-0. Reading checklist before landing. Heading indicator 7-0. Heading indicator 7-0. Performing a vertical landing. Readiness for landing ready. Readiness for landing ready. Readiness for landing are ready. All ready. Uh, so the reason I keep coming over to the left hand side for landing is because on this side you've got the um, slip indicator and you've got a few more kind of uh, engine instruments and uh, altitude and radar altitude stuff like that so you can uh, kind of see much more about what's going on with the helicopter while you're uh, performing landings and things like that just so you wonder why I'm not kind of landing from the right seat just it's much easier landing from the uh, from the left seat I guess that's our box to the right hand side, not getting any smoke today, but uh, that's fine. Got the box in sight. Make sure that we're into wind, zero seven zero. Start slowing it down, watching our rate of descent. Watching our rate of descent. Need to start going cockeye so I can watch the slip indicator and also watch the rate of descent. <laughs> when landing the Milmi 8, never, ever, 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 like ever, take your eye off the rate of descent. Because it'll always, as soon as you take your eye off it, it'll all of a sudden start nosediving, and then you get an unrecoverable descent, and then you slam into the ground. It's just that and the, the slip indicator above it, the artificial horizon, uh, the only things that you ever really need to watch. Kind of just that quadrant, and, you know... Occasionally look at the radar altimeter or out of the window, but you know, just keep your eye on that um, on a rate of descent indicator, and you'll always land fine. We arrived. Proceed with unloading. Sure. We'll go. Well, right, let's program this in for the next one, which is uh, one four eight four twenty two. So uh, bring this down to one four eight. Turn off first station. That's it, one for the D Hal. Commander, cargo unloaded. Roger, I felt it. Taken off, heading for Hajj Shanks. Hitting one four eight, twenty two kilometers. Right, 
okay, computer on, 148 for 22, uh, la 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 la, program 148 on this, that's why I moved to right knob, 148, we'll do the same over here as well, 148, cool, let's get the flock out of here. Oh wow, wow, much lighter now. This is Dimitri's wife on the radio. What the hell do you mean I give a shit blowjob? Cool, so only 22 kilometers on this one, so nice kind of short hop just over this hill and uh, far away. Starting to slip off to the right by 10 degrees, so just make a course correction to the left just to bring us kind of back onto course. Not far to go, only 17 kilometers. Uh, yeah, so we've got to look out for that big red and white antenna thing. Click so it's just another kind of course correction slightly left, see if we can realign. Played around that much. Hum hum. hum. Oh, Climb quite high here, ten K out. On course. So back to the right so we don't drift left. Oh, 
How awesome does DCS look? I, I know I've probably said it all of the time, but just always makes me kind of look at it in awe. 2.5 is just gorgeous. Kind of keep looking at this um, temperature gauge as well. So call this mission icing, but um, so far okay. <laughs> Not faced any icing yet, but uh, you know this thing's always going to try and throw a surprise at you. Aha, there's our um, there's our awesome red and white tower over there. So we'll start slowing down now. So, uh, things here to zero. Watch out for these trees on the way down. Start slowing the bus down. Watching rate of descent constantly. Carissa. A bit of wind at the moment. See our landing box there, which is cool. Watching out for these trees. She's really annoyed about something, isn't she? Settle down nice and gently here. And then pick up the shift. You've arrived. Pick up the passengers. Cool. And then our next step is uh, 255426. Switch on. Cool. As soon as the passengers have sorted their life out, we will be good to get out of here. Commander, 20 people on board. Doors closed. Roger. Taken off. 2R211. Heading 255, distance 26. Yay, I love it when I'm right. <laughs> cool, let's get the flock out of here. Which helps if I set my heading bug, doesn't it? 
255. Come on, watch the trees. Trees are collidable. Welcome to Vomit, <laughs> Vomit Comet Express. Well, all of the passengers are now chucking themselves up. Slight left course correction here. So cool, just kind of listening to that radio chat. You just say copy that. There's some interesting terrain over this side of the world. Get loads of fuel left, that's cool. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> I've done three of these, well, this will be the third mission I've done in a row now. <laughs> All on the same night because, you know, hardcore. At least on a, you know, when I release them one by one days after each other, you know. I can release them uh, while I'm at work and stuff like that, so, you know, pre-recording, always good. But, uh, three hours of flying the Mulmi 8 certainly starts taking them out here. Starting to get a little bit more drift on the old indicates here as well. Eight kilometers now, you there?
guess this is kind of how a Brintel pilot must feel. Flying passengers kind of to oil rigs and stuff every day. Apart from they fly out to sea. <laughs> Uh, I guess that's our oil rig over there. Nice! Those will start slowing down. So the indicator course to 070, so that's where we're running it. It was already on that one, isn't it? Dope. Yeah, so I guess we'll need to fly back, fly past and turn into it to be into wind. Yeah, two pointers, this is it. So we'll switch you off. And we'll come back here for the landing, we'll start slowing it down. And looking for our well well landing spot. Spotted near the river bend. Performing landing circuit, wind 7-0. Set heading to... Seven zero. Breathing checklist before landing. Heading indicator seven zero. Heading indicator seven zero. Performing vertical landing. Readiness for landing. Ready. Readiness for landing. Ready. Where's our box? Readiness for landing. Ready. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, it's past the. Uh, spin this around. Watch the trees on the way down. Descent. No, not less power, more power. Come on, Smudge. All brighty then. Ah, oh, shake, rattle, and roll. <laughs> Must remember that trees are collidable. Don't hit the trees. Thing on the way in. Cool, should be coming up over the box now. So this has been nearly impossible without uh, either VR or track IR. Set it down nice and gentle, like. Job's done. Moment, we'll disembark them fast. Wow. Cool, and then our last leg is uh, 052470. I should have gone positive and rather negative, but uh, I think. Zero five two four seven zero.
Commander, shift team rotated. 19 people on board. Doors closed. Roger. Taken off. Head into sub base. Heading 5-2, distance 7 -0. Prior preparation prevents piss poor performance. Love it. Okay, and we want to set this course to 2 Oh, let's get the flock out of here. What's the art channel for makeup? Is that 18? I can't remember. Could set the art, but I'll uh, we'll just guide off this, it works. Try and get some speed up here, push some real power into the aircraft. Slight left course. Get back off the arc. Andre, check the passenger cabin. How are the guys doing? We'll go. Commander, everything is five by five. They're quiet. Attempts to use alcohol not detected. I warn them of the dry law on board. Violators will be deplaned on the spot. <laughs> did they believe you? I don't know if they did, but they they will behave themselves. <laughs> deplaned on the spot. Yeah, off you go, son. <laughs> I like it. Maintaining about uh, half a kilometer of drift, which isn't bad. We're doing okay. A little bit high, in fact, but uh, just increase the pitch just a little bit. Get the nose down and uh, gain some more speed. And lose a bit of altitude. Через Хутон пойдете, правильно? Или через Дельта Викта? Хутон, Рулап. 
Понял. Будет э, схема захода на 23 центральную. Кутон. Рулап. Ой, извиняюсь. Рулап 1 кило. Рулап 1 кило. Спасибо. Дело берем 15 градусов. Набираем 280. Лежает 102. Разрешите нам влево полторы линии? Более полторы линии влево аэрофлот 1646. Россия 6136 заняли 210. Все хорошо. Аэрофлот контроль драйвер глава 245. Малик прошли слава 3 мэр. Um, like wind effects, like wind, uh, like vortex coming off of the side of hills and that, that's throwing the helicopter about right back. I'm not sure, I don't think DCS has uh, modeled thermal effects, but I know there's modeled wind effects, because you can feel it when you're flying low in, uh, in the piston aircraft like the Spitfire and the Mustang. So I wonder if, as we're coming over hills and things like that, it's modeling kind of like the wind, Шестьдесят один тридцать шесть. Краснодаров подход. Еще раз здравствуйте. Курс Сиера Майк. Продолжайте снижение. Эшелон шесть ноль. Снижается шесть ноль на Сиера Майк. Россия шестьдесят один тридцать шесть. It's weird, isn't it? How to talk in Russian and all of a sudden you hear Sierra Mike. It's like, hey, I know, I know that word. <laughs> All of a sudden the thing just decides it wants to start nosing itself into the ground. Starting to get very little drift now though, which is good. So, 
bring ourselves pretty much onto course because there's very little drift. Under 30 kilometers to go on course, everything's looking good, just kind of keeping an eye out for traffic and admiring the countryside. The helicopter all seems to be kind of working as it should be, which is nice. Although for some reason the thing just keeps wanting to throw itself about the sky. Whatever it is, it definitely keeps you on your toes. How awesome would it be if DCS have employed thermal effect? So that one day we could even go gliding. I don't know about you, I know this is a digital combat simulator, but like missions like this just flying about, I find quite relaxing and a lot of fun. You know, I personally am looking forward to things like the the Kristen Eagle and uh, the Yak 52, just for flying. But I think uh, having a glider in this, I think, would be awesome. Imagine flying through the Caucasus Mountains in a glider. That would just be insane. <laughs> if they could put thermal dynamics in this and and thing like airflow and stuff like that, stuff you could kind of fly around in a glider, that just, that'll blow my mind. Right, it cost by half a click. Just let the course correction left. Up ahead now, anyway. Used about half of a fuel nearly. Start on two thousand four hundred down to about. 12, 50, say 1400 maybe, so kind of just uh, just under half, although what you have to be aware of is that this part goes down a lot faster than this part, so that gap there is only 400 and that's 400 and then this goes from 1200 to 2800 so there's a lot more kind of fuel in this half of the gauge than there is in this half of the gauge. The P-51's a lot like that. Half of the gauge goes down very slowly and then all of a sudden it's like bang, you're empty. Control the uh, Dobrodin Sibiria 9 hour 18 Spice 
Ставим огонь к вам в Алгорич, Total 3, Ford Zero. Вот ситуация такая. Я не отвалит, а там же было не знаю, чего больного там. Вот, так на стопе кадр. Сейчас вы тоже покажем. Работал, но мало подвижного пассажира. Whoa. Well, we didn't come across any icing, which I guess is good. Interesting not to call it uh, call the mission icing, but uh, I guess that's just to do with the with the backstory. But uh, hey ho, kind of uneventful flight, which is nice. Hello, I am starting to sweat buckets over here because, like I said, it's quite warm. I think that's our uh, landing pad just ahead, so yay, 7k. So we'll set our course heading to 07, not that we need to make much of an adjustment, we can actually come in from this direction. So we're 20 off now, you're not really quiet anymore. And then we'll start slowing down, ready for our landing. Because, you know, like I keep saying, prior preparation prevents piss poor performance. We can actually come in straight in from the setting on 07, land on our pad, and call it night. Say call it a night, I'll be sticking all these things on YouTube. <laughs> Reading checklist before landing. Heading indicator 7-0. Heading indicator 7-0. Performing a vertical landing. Readiness for landing, ready. Readiness for landing, ready. Readiness for landing, ready. And ready for landing. Bit of a dangerous kind of slowdown there, but uh, I was right on the limits. But I'm okay, we managed, you know. Didn't go into the VRS, we managed to uh, arrest our rate of descent before the um, transitional lift came in. There's the 26 on the pad, don't want to land on him. Well, the pad is clear though, that's good. And arrived. Whoo! <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, let's get this thing shot down again. You 
know what? <laughs> I'm never shot off the APU again, am I? I keep forgetting to do that. Alright, shot up, mate. Keep leaving the APU running. Must remember next time to switch off. Well, this is much saying uh, thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed it. This has been episode three of the oiled feel oiled 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 field oil field campaign in the Mill Eight. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly am enjoying it. Um, it like I, I think I've said before, it's nice having an objective, something to kind of uh, fly around and do. Just look at the size of that Mill Me twenty-four, uh, twenty-six, even twenty-four, twenty-four is high and twenty-six. Look at that thing, it's ginormous. Um, but yeah. Cool. Hope you're enjoying this. Um, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, all the other good stuff, and kind of, you know, leave comments. Tell me if you're enjoying this. Uh, tell me if I'm doing anything wrong or could be doing something better. Uh, you know, I like uh, kind of getting feedback like that. And I'll uh, leave this here for now and say thank you very much and good night. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.